How to balance paying off student loans with 401k contributions when employer matches 100%, up to federal maximum. I've regularly heard the best advice for a young professional is to max out your employer's 401k contributions, maybe 3 to 5%, or limited in some way, then focus the rest on paying down debts. After the debts are paid, you increase your 401k contributions. However, I'm in an unusual position in that my employer matches 100% of what I contribute during the year as a single lump contribution in December, up to the federal maximum, $19.5,000 as of right now. Does this classic advice still hold true in my unusual case? In the future, if I get a raise, how do I figure out where I should put that extra money, paying down loans versus adding to 401k? Basic details. Age, 28. 401k balance was approximately 48k, now tilde $36,000 in the midst of this pandemic. Total of loans is $44,000, currently making payments of $670 per mo targeting the highest interest rate loans, $2.6,000 at 6.5%, $27,300 at 5%, $14,200 at 3.1% to 4.4%, several smaller loans here, split up among these rates. 401k contributions are at 15% of $80,000 salary, $12,000 per year. Wife and my combined income is $105,000. Current mortgage principal is $172,000 with approximately 30k home equity. Cars are both paid off. Nothing beats a 100% gain, so you should strive to max out the 19,500 limit every year. Only further money should go against open loans within the options you have. Saving 4% or even 6% interest on a paid-off part of a loan is nice, but poor compared to making 100% on match, it's 96% or 94% more, or about 20 times as much. Seen in absolutes, if you put an extra $10,000 against a loan of 6%, you get a saving of $600 every year until the loan runs out. If you put the $10,000 in your 401k, you get a $10,000 match this year, that is 15 times that $600 and in addition, 4-10% gain per year on top of it every following year, an extra $800 to $2,000 per year, with no time limit, and which alone is much more than the saved interest. There surely is a value to the psychological advantage of being loan-free, but are you willing to pay that price for it?